Hello, Basil people. I apologize for the splitting of the video into two parts, which is, I haven't been able to um, figure out the timing on properly. I don't have a lot of storage on this device, so please excuse that, but you get a whole video to yourselves. So everyone that chose the beautiful, luscious basil leaf of love and abundance, this is your reading for the week ahead. Wow, there is some power here. <laughs> Love and abundance indeed. Here's the abundance. We have the Queen of Pentacles, Lynx, Hidden Knowledge and Creativity. Here's the abundance. <laughs> Big old elephant, Justice, in the healing position. Ancient power and justice at play in the animal tarot. Unfortunately, this one had some maple syrup stuck on it. Sorry, elephant, you're still so beautiful and perfect. We have from the spiritual tarot, the seven of fire, seven of wands, courage. We also received for Basil Pyle, the emperor, major arcana, fourth card in the major arcana, some very powerful and balanced divine masculine energy. And beside that gentleman, we have the Ace of Wands from the ancient French tarot in reverse. Hmm. Very interesting, very interesting. Ah, okay. Mind wise, Archangelic guides, animal guides, and kind wise ancestors. Where should I start? Okay, I'm going to start in the middle with courage, the Seven of Fire, the Seven of Wands, and this card actually. The image of this card actually contains archangelic energy through the colors in this four portioned geometry. So the seven of fire and the seven of wands, seven of wands is about standing your ground, holding your position, not settling, not lowering your standard, but holding your flag high connecting your energy in the material with divine energy and trusting that your integrity is guided by your higher self as well as your guides and angels in higher frequencies and vibrations and not to be tempted to back down, to lower your frequency, to lower your standard. To understand that even though it can be exhausting to be the only one who is upholding a higher vibrational energy and you might feel like you've been fighting off lower vibrational energies like fear um, you know the temptations of addiction and distraction that now is not the time to do that now is the time to Stand your ground, hold your position, and that if you need help, you can call upon your guardian angels, arch angelic alliance, or connect with your star family, connect with source energy through these guides and beings, or connect directly to source energy in whatever way you choose to do that through courage. Courage is the overcoming of tiredness. The overcoming of fear, of course. 
perseverance, trust and faith kind of all rolled into one. So keep going. You're guided by the Mars energy, which you can see in this tiny symbol here, and by the Leo energy, which you can see in this symbol here. So that would even be Mars in Leo, which is a power position. There's a lot of masculine energy in this card. There's a lot of divine masculine energy in this card. And I think that this reading is actually aimed towards those of you who chose Basil. You can see how much loving heart energy is in this by the green. And Leo is actually the sign of the child in the zodiac. A lot of people think it's paternal or father energy, but it's actually the sign of the child. So it's open-hearted, loving power. Fearlessness, which is courage. Let's go over here. So we also have, maybe this is the reason that you feel that you are having to hold your ground or stand your ground because we have 11 justice, elephant, ancient power of justice at play. And this is in reverse or healing position. So there's been a period where there hasn't been justice in your life. There's been a period where there may have been unjust actions or judgments or experiences, maybe even very serious um, violations of your integrity as a human or that of others around you. Maybe you have some experiences with violence in your own life or in the lives of your loved ones. And there hasn't been proper justice brought into play regarding those situations and those experiences. But it's saying don't give up. Don't give in to the lower vibrational energies of hatred, vengeance, or despair. Justice is a very powerful energy and no matter the wrongs done against you just as they've been done against the beautiful species of elephant the robbery of her unique attributes the disregard for her majesty and the overturning of that natural divinity as being something to be exploited. We can all despair. We can all fall into despair at these kind of situations in our personal lives and collectively. But we are being guided this week to stand our ground because justice the ancient power of justice, natural justice, universal justice is always at play. And the fact that she is appearing here, elephant is appearing here in the healing position, indicates that the universe is balancing the scales as we speak. On this end, we also have Actually, I'm going to go over here. I'm going to go to the Emperor. Speaking of justice and balance. So this is the healed, complete, sovereign, divine, masculine energy. This is not patriarchy. This is not a president or a king. This is the Emperor. Divine, natural, universal, masculine energy. The sign of Aries, present, the eagle on the leg, 
the divine energy activating the masculine sacral chakra here and vision communication the intersection of divine energy here at the eye so that our perception is clear our discernment is active and at the heart so that our emotional body is also activated as well as our physical in the decisions that we make and take if we are called to be judges this week we can be confident that we will do that in balance and fairness and with divine guidance and confidence amazing there could be even on a collective level because these are both major arcana justice and the emperor there could even be collective um, rebalancing that is occurring in our political sphere um, and our social sphere here on earth just going to receive some more energy with this Lemur lemurian quartz because this is really potent what's coming in so i'm going to move to the queen of pentacles queen of four legged here's the feminine energy which is balancing the scales of justice so she is the queen of four legged or earth hidden knowledge and creativity lynx the beautiful wild cat of the north so mysterious the word lynx always brings to mind for me the actual links between us and the divine natural matrix of this planet which is connected to the natural source energy of the universe so tapping into that is another way to balance to assist in the rebalancing and the bringing in of justice because we are part of this process we're part of the cosmic process we're part of the planetary process as well as those that occur within ourselves in our own lives so on all levels we're being asked to connect to our natural authentic selves and to be responsible for the care of our natural selves and our natural world so the queen energy is present for that and tapping into the abundance of nature our food our homes our security our creativity the things that we know and remember from our ancestors is really important to you this week basil people The Ace of Wands is appearing in reverse. You know, the Ace of Wands is bold, forward, change, movement, beginning, the start of new ventures. And I feel that this is coming. The fact that it's in the healing position is showing me that it is approaching or the opportunity to take this offer, which is a divinely offered energy. Is approaching but for now we are still being asked to stand our ground and to not make any rash moves or statements and to be patient in the position that we've taken for a long time in our integrity as the divine masculine as the Emperor and allow the ancient power of justice of natural justice universal justice to present itself to the situations that we that are of concern to us so whether it's on the personal or the collective level 
There's not going to be any big changes this week. There's not going to be any bold moves, but there is a lot of anchored power, both in the feminine natural realm and in the natural realm of the masculine or spiritual energy, which is brought to earth. So this is a power week for you, Basil people. And just remember, stay in your heart. Stay in your childlike fearlessness, your courage. Stay in the green zone. <laughs> Let's all anchor in our courage to continue forward this week and enjoy. Enjoy the energies. Thank you for watching, everyone. Wishing you a blessed week, and I'm going to eat this basil now. Bye.